Welcome to episode 35 of Meet the Gimp. My name is Rolf Steinhardt and I'm recording this in Bremen, northern Germany. I don't do advertisements in uh, this podcast, but I want to point you to a publication that's worth to be pointed at. And I get no money or uh, a cheaper subscription or so from for this here. Uh, Landswork. Landswork Extended is a publication on uh, a DVD and uh, Landswork is a picture publication, a photography publication in print. I am a subscriber of Landswork Extended and it's uh, great worth uh, just check it out. I don't want to go uh, too deep here into it. The URL is lenswork.com and you'll find a lot of stuff there. Lenswork covers mostly black and white images. Oh, there's some color work but uh, uh, the weight is uh, definitely on black and white film stuff and digital stuff. And uh, if you have followed the last videos here 32 to 34 you can do monochrome conversions with GIMP. And if you have done such images, uh, go to our photo group at 23. The membership in 23 is free uh, up to a certain amount of images per day, uh, per month. And uh, then just enter your image. I haven't uh, seen this. It's nice. Uh, and give it the tag MTG monochrome, like this one here. And then on the last day of March 2008, I'll draw one of uh, the entries, uh, or one of the people who entered images. You see here, some people have uh, a lot of images in there. Uh, I'll draw one of them uh, for a prize for a one-year membership at 23.com, sponsored by 23. I love to see your images here. There is such a high quality among them and such a, well, ideas and fantasies and so on. It will be a great slideshow uh, when I show all your images. And I think uh, that's <laughs> the best prize there is. And now for today's theme. I have shot this image here uh, near sunset in uh, on our uh, city fortifications here in Bremen and I used my point and shoot uh, Sanyu Xakti and as you see here there were some problems with uh, the color cast with uh, the uh, color temperature this image is definitely too red and I want to get rid of some red some of that red I showed you once a way how I prefer to do that and that was uh, just adding a bit of uh, other colors. Uh, you can uh, look that up in uh, one of the episodes about the ship in the fog. I'll point a link in the show notes to that. Uh, but today I want to show you a different way to play with colors and that is the filter pack. Just go to Colors and Filter Pack. And here it is. You see uh, here the original and the current version. And I think these images are way too small. So I just click on Advanced. And the window opened outside of my window here. I click on. Uh, and I have here a slider for preview size. And you see these uh, thumbnails, they grow in size. Um, I'll leave this here as it is. Uh, here you can change uh, the definition of shadows, of midtones, and of highlights. But uh, we'll cover that later. So here is our original and the current version. Um, now I'm 
and for track. You see here is no zoom uh, and if I really can't tell if this is wide in this, uh, in, in this size here but I can uh, let me show it here selection only and now let me just select a little bit of the image I select this area here and now this should be showing my selection here it is I can always go back to the entire image uh, but here I'm just working on this selection I have all the stuff I need as the sky the white uh, wood here and the red paint and now I want to work I think on the highlights let's start with the highlights click here on highlights and I want to change the hue of the image just click here on hue and now I get this well let me move this out of the window I get this window here is my current version here is a bit of cyan added a little bit of red added a little bit of yellow added or blue added or magenta added and with this slider here the roundness I can change the amount of color that is added and you see here if I slide this up to one uh, I get real Andy Warhol uh, <laughs> thingies here so let's go back to let's say about uh, this here 0 0.2 and I want to go not into blue I want to add cyan and when I add cyan I'm subtracting red just the thing I wanted to do so let's click on here you see here the image in the center changes and all the others change too every time uh, I click on one of uh, these uh, thumbnails here uh, the whole thing here shifts and I think it can be just another click on this here this would be too much now there's a color cast here is a little bit of uh, well a little bit warm color is there still and now I reduce this further and I think I can add a little bit of blue to that and another bit well this looks about right now I'm just closing this here and let's look at the mid tones if we can change something there click mid tones and again hue and here you see that uh, we now have a big change in the background in the sky it changes the color because the sky and the red stripe here are in the mid tone area and the white stuff here is in the highlight area and I think I should leave the midtones alone. I can change some other stuff. I can change the saturation and the value. Value is the lightness of uh, the image. Let's look here. This is a bit lighter. This is a bit darker. I think lighter looks better. And let's do another one. That was too much. No, I think it's right but with this I can use a little bit more saturation I click here open the saturation window and look here well perhaps this is a bit too much well it was a bit too much I can just click on less saturation and go back to my original uh, this is non-destructive uh, up to clicking OK and uh, well, I should have copied the background area, uh, the the layer uh, to have a, a copy to work with. Uh, I haven't done this now. Uh, well, okay. Um, I'll make uh, uh, the file available, uh, and uh, you can be assured in the file uh, that you can download from meetthegimp.org. Uh, there will be. Uh, the old layer, the original and this modified layer available. 
So, um, up to uh, the moment when I click here on OK, everything is uh, non-destructive and you don't have to think about uh, changing this before that and so it's uh, the final modification that is calculated in the rest here. I think this is it with this image and uh, I should show you a bit around in uh, the advanced layer here, advanced uh, options. Um, the, I had covered the preview size and here is the area, uh, these two markers here are setting uh, the values of uh, the highlights, this area here from uh, 224 are the highlights this are the midtones and this are here the, uh, the shadows and you can see if I show this here uh, I'm just I'm clicking now on the highlights this area here this is uh, the curve of the highlights this area is affected and I can change the uh, the well, the form of the curve with this slider. And of course I can move these sliders around and make the area uh, of the highlights uh, larger uh, as before. And you can see you know, the image uh, doesn't change with this. So uh, this was 0.6 around and 220, that's okay. Uh, here you can uh, define the area between the shadows and the midtones, and I'll leave that alone here too. It's uh, quite a lot to play around with. So let, now let's look how this works out. I just click on OK, and you see here my image in the middle is a lot, be a lot better than before, but the rest of my image, which I hadn't uh, selected because I wanted to zoom in to this, isn't changed. And that's easy to heal. Just go to Select, Invert, and go back to Colors, Filter Pack, and just click once again on OK. And now select none and I have an image with the corrected uh, uh, amount of uh, color. If you want to use uh, the filter pack or with uh, a layer method, uh, that depends on, on your personal taste. And I think this was it for this week. Don't forget the competition, the challenge, not a competition and uh, go to the website meetthegimp.org, leave comments or write me a mail at info at meetthegimp.org. And if you have a blog or uh, write uh, some article somewhere, I would be glad uh, about a link from you. Goodbye, until next week. Photocastnetwork.com your photography resource in the Potosphere. Podcastnetwork.com